everyone and thanks for tuning in for today's tutorial. So today we'll be learning how to crochet this super cute little toadstool. So you'll need a few things. You'll need worsted weight yarn in red and white or whatever color you'd like to make the cap of your mushroom. You'll also want a four millimeter crochet hook. You can use a bigger or smaller size if you'd like. I used a four millimeter. If you use a bigger size, that will make a bigger mushroom. Smaller size will make a smaller mushroom. I used um, some polyfill stuffing to fill my mushroom. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and if you're so inclined, a stitch marker to mark your rows, or a bobby pin in my case. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to get started, you're gonna begin with your main color. I'm using red for the mushroom today. And we're gonna start by making a magic loop and putting six single crochet in that magic loop. Pull the tail tight to close your magic loop. And that's your first row. Second row, we're going to put an increase in each of the stitches. Should give you 12 stitches total. At this point, I like to start marking my rows. So for the next row, we're going to put one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my row and then put one single crochet all the way around. For our next row, we're going to continue increasing by putting one single crochet in the first stitch and then two in the next stitch. And we'll repeat that pattern, one single crochet and then an increase all the way around. That should give you 18 stitches in this row. So to build the height on the mushroom cap so it's a little steeper, we're going to be doing two regular rows of single crochet now with our red. So here's the first one. I'm just going to go around and put one single crochet in each of the stitches of this row. Time for our second row. Again, just one single crochet in each of the stitches. Okay, so we're gonna continue on with our increase pattern by putting one single crochet in the first stitch and the second stitch of this row and then increasing in the third stitch. So we'll repeat that pattern of one single crochet, one single crochet, increase, all the way until we reach our stitch marker. So before you finish this row, before you add your last increase stitch, we actually need to change colors, but we're gonna do it a little unusually because we don't want to cut this red. So we're going to pull up one loop in red and then switch to our white and finish off that stitch so that we're, our white yarn's ready to go. We don't want this red yarn to be on the inside of our work though because we're gonna come back to it. So for now, just flip the red onto the surface, the outside of your mushroom, and hold it there for just a bit while we get our next row started. So go ahead and take your stitch marker out and then working in your tail as you go with your white yarn, we're gonna start decreasing in the back loops only of this row here. So to start with the white, we're gonna put one single crochet in the back loop only and make sure that red is on the outside of your work, not on the inside. Put another back loop only single crochet and then we're gonna do a back loop only decrease. So that's just like a regular decrease, a loop in one, pull up a loop in the next, 
pull through all together. And then make sure you work that tail end in a little bit as you go. You don't have to work it in the whole round, just a few stitches to keep the color change secure. So we're gonna keep that pattern going all the way around. Back loop only single crochet once, twice, and then a back loop single crochet decrease. We're gonna repeat that all the way around this row. Okay, now we're gonna continue decreasing, but no longer in the back loops. We did this to help when we come back and finish off the mushroom cap. So we'll continue our decrease in white by putting a single crochet in the first stitch of the row and then decreasing in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Next, we're gonna to wanna to add a little stuffing to the mushroom cap. Not a ton, because we can add a little bit more later, but just a little bit to kind of get us started getting the shape on the mushroom. All right, for this next row, after you've added your stuffing, we're gonna add a decrease in every stitch around. So we'll decrease by single crocheting two stitches together all the way around this row. Before we start adding the stem of the mushroom, you can add just a little bit more stuffing to the top of your mushroom cap. I like to try to focus it towards the top of the mushroom so it domes a little bit. You don't want to overstuff this or your mushroom will look kind of funky. Okay, so to start the stem of the mushroom, we're going to be working again in the back loops only for this first row. It's a little hard to get to the back loops on our decrease row. You kind of have to dig in a little bit to find them, but we're just gonna put one single crochet in each of those back loops. And you can see I have to sort of dig down to get to the back loops. That's okay, just take it slow. You'll be able to get to each one if you work slowly. So there's six stitches. That we're aiming for. All right, so that's all six for me. Next, we're going to be working in both loops and we're going to add one single crochet, an increase, another two single crochet, another increase, and then three single crochet and one last increase. So I remember about going one increase, two increase, three increase, one, two, three. And that gives us nine stitches for the total on the stem. So now we're gonna just keep putting a single crochet in each stitch until the stem reaches the length that we want it to be. Depending on what you're using your mushroom for, you might want the stem to be longer or shorter. I don't tend to work mine more than maybe two inches, but I'll leave that up to you for whatever you're using your mushroom for. So I'm nearly to the length of stem that I want maybe a few more rows, but before I continue adding rows, I wanna put a little stuffing into the stem of the mushroom as I go. If you wait to the very end to stuff, it's kind of hard to get the stuffing in. 
So if you're making your stem really long, I would suggest adding stuffing as you continue working. And you want to poke it so it goes into where the six single crochet are at the sort of where the stem begins. You don't want to leave that unstuffed or your mushroom will be kind of floppy. Okay, I'm going to keep working around to make my stem longer. All right, I think that's probably a good length for the stem on the mushroom that I'm making for today. So to finish the stem off, we're gonna do some decreases. So we'll start by putting one single crochet. I'll go ahead and mark my rows too. And then a decrease. One single crochet. Another decrease. And then one single crochet and a final decrease. Taking us from nine stitches to six stitches. All right, so if you'd like to put polka dots on your mushroom, cut yourself a long tail. If you're not wanting to put any polka dots on yours, you can go ahead and cut your tail just long enough to weave the tail end in. I'm gonna go ahead and do some polka dots on mine, so I'll cut it long. And then we'll finish off by slip stitching and pulling our yarn through to tie a knot. I'm gonna put just a little bit more stuffing into the bottom of the stem here. Perfect. All right, so before we go any further, before we tie this off, weave any ends in, we're gonna go back up to the mushroom cap. And we've left the red yarn attached, so we don't even have to worry about reattaching it. So all we'll need to do is find where that yarn meets your work, and we're gonna be working in the stitch directly to the left of that yarn. So take your hook, and you're gonna insert it into that back loop, and then also into the stitch directly underneath that white stitch there, directly underneath the back loop. And for this whole first row, we're gonna be working, sort of sandwiching those two layers together as we add single crochets. So to get started, take that tail end that we left attached and pull up a loop and then chain one to build the height that we need when we start our single crochet row. Then we're gonna work all the way around taking both the back loop only loop that we left behind, technically the front loop, and the row directly underneath it. We're gonna be making single crochets in each of those stitches. So again, I'll show that really slow. Take just the front loop, the loop we left behind, and the row right underneath it. And just make a single crochet in all of those stitches. It may seem kind of tricky to find it at first, but you'll get the hang of it. and continue working all the way around the mushroom cap. All right, so now that we're all the way back around, we're going to put a single crochet in that same stitch that we drew a loop up in. So go ahead and go through that same stitch. Make sure to get the row underneath it too and make a single crochet. And then we're gonna skip over that first chain that we made to draw up the height and just go into the very first single crochet that we made. So again, skip that first chain, the first stitch that you pulled up and go through the first single crochet you made. So we're gonna make a single crochet in that one and then we're gonna continue working all the way around the mushroom cap. You might mark your row here so you know which stitch is first. We're gonna go all the way around, putting one single crochet in each of those stitches. Okay, so when you get to the end of this row, you need to slip stitch to the first single crochet of the last row to close it off. 
and then cut yourself a, a not a super long tail, just long enough that we can use it to work in. So go ahead and pull your yarn through to close the row off. And then we're gonna take our tapestry needle, thread the red yarn tail through, or whatever color you're using. And then send our tail end into the body of our work to tie it off. Don't pull too tightly or you'll take a little bit of the mushroom cap with you. And then snip that red to weave it in. Okay, so there's the mushroom cap done. So if you're gonna be making some polka dots with me, follow along. If not, you should be good to go. But if you're making polka dots, we're gonna go ahead and thread our white long tail through. If you're not, we're gonna be closing this off anyway. So sew through each one of the remaining stitches of the white to close off the bottom of the mushroom. Last one for me. Pull that tight to close. And then we're gonna tie a knot by looping the yarn over the surface of our work and then going through a little bit of the fabric of the work and up through the center of that loop. That ties a surface knot. So if you're not gonna make any polka dots on your mushroom, all you need to do is weave this tail end in. If you'd like to make some polka dots, we're gonna take the tail end and weave it through the stem and up to the mushroom cap. Now don't pull too tight or you'll take a little bit of the bottom of the mushroom in with you. If you do pull too tight, you can fix it by just kind of pulling the fabric back up with your tapestry needle. Okay, the way I like to make my polka dots is I tie some French knots onto the surface. So I like to make them by looping the thread and pulling through three times. So I'm sort of wrapping the yarn around itself. And then I hold the wraps in place and pull to tighten. Until I get sort of a loose cluster, kind of a stack of knots. And then I take my needle and I go back through the stitch that I came up through to start my French knot. And you're going to send your needle to wherever you'd like your next polka dot to be and pull. Whenever you're pulling, stop about there because you pull too tight, you'll pull all the knots on the inside. But that makes a nice little polka dot. Let's make another one together. So we'll loop our thread over the surface of our work and then take our needle up and under three times. So just wrapping the thread around itself. And then we'll tighten by pulling the thread, sort of hold those wraps in the same place until they sort of all stack loosely in the same place. And then we'll sew back through the stitch we came up through and send our needle to where we'd like our next polka dot to be. And remember, don't pull too tight, just enough to make your polka dot. So to finish off, you actually don't need to tie a knot because we already tied a bunch of the French knots that we make to make our polka dots. So once you've put your final polka dot on, all you need to do is send your tail end out through the cap somewhere 
and cut just like you would with a regular tail end. And that is that. You've now made yourself one polka dot or not a shirt. So thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and make yourself a ton of little mushrooms. Thanks for watching.